It's a it was a very finely balanced decision, and my concern was not just about making sure we had the evidence, which we did, but making sure that we also took into account what the complainants wanted, hence why I contacted the inquiry. Um, I don't think it's a decision that I should resign over. It's one that I took very carefully and with the victims at the heart of that. That's why we talked about the victims' right to review and I encouraged them to do that. And that's where we are today. Did you take the advice of your principal legal advisor from within the CPS, Neil Moore? Did you agree with what he told you? I made my own decision. It was my decision. Um, there were lots of people who... So you, you disagreed with him? I'm not saying that. I'm saying there are lots of people well, who profit advice. Did you agree with him or did you disagree? It doesn't actually matter because it was my decision at the end of the day and there were lots of things that I took into account. So it was my decision at the end of the day to decide to prosecute and it's my decision that has been reviewed and now has been overturned. Well that's true but it will matter to some people because they will want to know whether you uh, listen to the principal legal advisor that this organisation employs internally to give you advice on these big cases. Um, he played no part in the decision making, it was my decision alone. Did you take advice at that point from independent external counsel? Um, there had been earlier advice from um, external counsel, yes. And did you agree with that advice? Did you go along with that advice or did you disagree with it? Um, I agreed with part of it around the evidential part. I did not agree with the public interest part. So it sounds to me as though this was absolutely, as you say, it was your decision. You were advised uh, by your own principal legal advisor internally. You were advised uh, by an independent legal advisor from outside the CPS. Uh, and, and you disagreed with some of what they had to say. Um, some of, some of, it really doesn't matter because it was my decision and it's my decision that's been reviewed. So the basis on which I did it was looking at the evidence that was before me, looking at all the different um, factors that you take into account in relation to public interest, which will be things like what did the victims want, what was the likely outcome, what was going to happen at court, um, the severity of the allegations. Um, and as I've said, I found it a really difficult decision. For me, it was very finely balanced. Um, but I decided not to proceed at that time. That decision has been reviewed and we have now changed that decision so we are prosecuting.